So the test number one that we do is the draw test, anterior draw and the posterior draw. How we do that? We move the knee into 90 degrees of flexion and foot should be on the couch like this. So foot is on the couch, knee is having 90 degrees of flexion. Now I sit over the foot of the patient so that it gets stabilized with the bed. I keep both my hands on the back side of patient's tibia, leg, upper leg and two hands over the tibial condylar area. Right? This is how I hold the patient's tibia. So when I try to pull it anteriorly, that is anterior translation, I am trying to check for ACL, anterior cruciate ligament and if I try to push it back, this is posterior translation of tibia when I am pushing it back. So that is for PCL. So ACL and PCL. Now you can observe some degree of translation. See, you can easily observe some degree of translation in his tibia. So there is always some laxity. There is always some laxity in the ACL. So see, the tibia is coming anteriorly. This is ACL, right? When I push it back, it is PCL. So this is anterior and posterior draw test. Second test that can be done for anterior cruciate ligament is known as Lashman test. How we do Lashman? In Lashman test, the knee only needed to be flexed to around 20 to 30 degrees, right? Almost this much, okay? We hold the femur, the lower end of femur or the lower end of thigh by one hand. We stabilize it, okay? So I stabilize it. By other hand, I hold the upper end of tibia and I try to move it anteriorly, okay? I try to move it anteriorly. So if I can move it anteriorly, that means ACL is gone. Now why we need to test, okay? As you know, the ACL and PCL, by it, if tested by anterior and posterior draw test, they need 90 degrees of flexion. But this Lashman only needs 20 degrees. So for your MCQ, PGME purpose, <clears throat> you must know the only test to be done in the case of cruciate injury in acute cases, it is only Lashman, right? So we only do Lashman in acute cases. For chronic, do whatever you want, uh, Lashman or the anterior drawer. Okay, so these are two tests for the cruciates. Coming on to the meniscus, second structure to be examined is a meniscus. How do we examine the meniscus? Basically, there are two tests for meniscus the macmaris and the aplase grinding. How we do that? Macmaris test is done by, see, how I do that? Completely flex the knee. This is complete flexion of the knee. Okay? So what I do, I just hold the foot here and I, I have to check for two meniscus, medial side or the lateral side. So first I try to check for the medial side. What I do? I just externally rotate the foot like this. See, this is complete external rotation of the foot. And now, I just keep my hand over here, over the knee area and I just try to abduct it. See, I just try to abduct it, moving away. So this is abduction, externally rotated foot, abducted and now the knee is getting extended. So if the patient says I have pain, that means there is some sort of injury to the meniscus. If I do the opposite movement, what opposite movement? Focus on the foot. So when I just, this is completely again flexed. I just internally rotate it, right? And then I adduct and extend the knee again. See what I do? This is internally rotated, keeping hand over here, adducted and extended the knee. Now, if the patient says I have pain, that means again another meniscus is injured over here. So this is MacMurray's test. This is done with the patient in supine position. Applies grinding will be done with the patient in prone position. How we do that? In prone position, what we do, we just flex the knee of the patient, right? I keep my hand over here, one hand over the lower thigh and I just push it down, okay? And then I grind it medially like this and laterally like this. So medial and lateral rotation. So this will tell you if there is any injury to the meniscus or not. Preferably this test is not done. You should not do it because initially there might be minimal injury and when you grind it, you are creating a bigger injury to the meniscus. Right? So these are two injuries of the meniscus, aplase and macmaris.